yes yeah welcome back to the second part of today's session yes suchitra ma'am yes so if uh, teachers observe the children activities and then they sub give uh, sub uh, this extend the support activity uh, like for example if the child is done with the activities given they give the next level of that uh, that activity to the child hmm. i think so that what am i correct or not so, yes like, yes that's it that's it so um, activities corresponding materials are arranged according to the de domains of development like physical cognitive language and art and the children are made aware uh, that these are the things that you need to yes uh, so like especially even if you are setting corners also physical corner cognitive corner language corner art corner first the teacher will introduce the children to the material that are lying how are they supposed to use the material and then the children will start using the material that's how it is yeah. So, uh, forty-five minutes circle time. That is conversation, songs, poems. Fifteen minutes, then break. One hour, forty-five minutes work time. What is this work time? Actually, that activity time. Any sort of 45, activity. Yeah, forty-five minutes arts, crafts, sports, free play. Then forty-five minutes lunch break. Then one hour, fifteen minutes language and emergent literacy. That is age four to six. What is emergent literacy? Emergent literacy is nothing but the literacy which we are uh, introducing. It can be English. It can be the regional language that is spoken. Okay. That's how it is. Yeah. So both, il both the illustrations have a five and a half hour school day with about four and a half hours of active instructional time for age uh, children of ages four to six. Four to six, yes. So they have is... five and a half and four and a half hours for active instructional time. That means activity-based. Yes, yes. Okay. yes. Next, uh, Aarti ma'am, illustrative daily or weekly routine for ages 6 to 8. So the daily routine for ages 6 to 8 should be slightly longer. So that was 5 and a half in which 4 and a half uh, learning. So in while all the language and a little more structured in case of age 6 to 8. While all language classes for children 3 yeah. to 6 years can be handled together for this age group, dedicated time for each language is necessary. Specific blocks of time for literacy, numeracy, and art can be incorporated. Uh, R1 would need 90 minutes. R1, R1 is, uh, this is language one. Must language one huh? would mm, need yes. 90 minutes every day, and R2 would need 60 minutes. Mathematics and numeracy would require 60 minutes a day. And these periods of time can be organized into four blocks. Yes. Now, they have already given 30-minute circle time. That is for the age, now this age group. Then 30 minutes R1 oral, oral language and 30 minutes R1 word recognition. Word recognition. Is, okay. Then 15 minutes snacks time and then one hour for maths. 30 minutes art and craft. 30 minutes R1. Again, this is R1, reading or writing. So 30, 30, 30. That means one and a half hour now. 45 minutes lunch break and then one hour R2 oral language word recognition and 30 minutes play. play. So this is compulsory. Right. Like art and craft and play are a compulsory part of timetable. No principal should think about this. <laughs> yeah. Then maths, uh, they have given time EVS. I mean, that means one day maths, another day EVS, but two languages have to be taken daily. It seems. Yes. This, right? Mm -hmm. A so longer this is a day timetable. Yeah, this is what they have suggested. But what we follow is a bit different, it seems. Complete, okay. Bit different. Okay. Most of the people's is completely different. Yeah. A longer day would allow more time for activities such as art, sports, and gardening. The illustrative weekly timetable below allows for such possibilities. As mentioned earlier, mathematics and R1 would include activities in blocks of time. So, I um, mean, now they have given the day wise Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, we, I think things Saturday are more is a holiday. Than... Yes. Sir, now they are suggesting Saturday as the bagless day. Bagless, yes. Section 4.3. Now, this is consideration for time allocation across pre preparatory, middle, and middle secondary stages. Now, here it is. The annual working year for school has 220 instruction or school going days. 
after taking into consideration national holidays, term breaks, and vacations. And vacation. Chitra, ma'am, your question is answered. Yes, yes, yes. It's answered, but we never get 220 days. The problem is there. You can uh, yeah. just leave the optional holidays. Optional holidays, whatever you want, working should be working. No, sir. Our problem is not there. When the government stops, our problem starts there. The government is forced to stop, then there is a problem. Okay. Of these 220 days, I have to Around 20 days may be considered for assessments and other assessments related activities across stages. So only 20 another, days is for assessments. Yes, exams. Another 20 days may be set aside for school events and other similar activities or as a buffer for less four C. I I mean, here it has come, four C events in events, school. Events, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can bagless day mandated by NEP 2020 can come from these, from these 20, 20. spread mm -hmm. across the year for the middle and the secondary school examinations. Mm -hmm. Given, therefore, a safe estimate can be of 180 days of instructional time across these three stages at school. Now, what does it mean? Given the wide range of context in which schools operate across the country, a working school week has been taken as five and a half days with Saturdays as half days. That's it. Considering all the schools all over India, they have suggested yeah. that you can have five and a half week. That is five days till Friday, five days and half day as Saturday. All Saturdays to be half days. Yes. Minimum Since 180 days. That's what I think I got. Minimum? 180 working days. Yeah, so minimum is 180. Yeah, yeah. Minimum yeah. is 180, but here they are also talking about Saturdays, right? Half days. Yeah, Saturdays. Saturdays. Correct. Five and don't a half. even get 180 days. I mean, actually, yeah, is... we are struggling, right? That is the problem. But okay, yes, 180 I'm... still we can think of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then, given the since not all Saturdays are likely to be working for all students, the model here has considered five and half day of school every alternate week only. Given the range of subjects in different stages and the reasonable number of hours students can spend in school, a working school year would have around 34 working weeks of around 29 hours of instruction hours every week. Every week there should be 29 hours. Okay. Hours. And school should work for 34 weeks in an annual, in an in a academic year. I yeah. think uh, 29 hours of instruction means you mean only main subjects. You know, they are not taking activity time because otherwise we have more. Right? No, instructional Six. hours in the sense all together, right? Okay, so they are taking along according to five days a week, six, five or 30, then they are taking like that. Mm -hmm. The exact timing and order of subjects may be chosen to be the same each day. Example, languages and mathematics in morning after nutritious breakfast. In order to establish a daily rhythm for students or they may be varied on a weekly basis to give different subjects, different priorities each day within the time schedule. What works best for each school must depend on the local context on whether breakfast or snacks can be offered to all students each morning on the daylight hours in the local region. Excellent. This is for uh, schools which are having hostels and residential schools and all. Yeah. So, next section, that was all about, uh, you know, time allocation. Now, let us go with Chitra, ma'am. Are you still traveling? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll so take Chitra, again another about 15 minutes. Okay. okay. So, Chitra, ma'am, let's start. Yes, sir. Stage-specific considerations. Yeah. Stage-specific considerations. Time allocation for the preparatory stage. Weekdays begin with an assembly for 25 minutes with 5 minutes to reach the classroom. Hmm. B, class time for all subjects is 40 minutes. Some subjects will require a block period of 80 minutes, 1 hour and 20 minutes. The hmm. transition time for students to prepare for the next class is 5 minutes. The two working Saturdays a month have a slightly different schedule compared to other working weekdays. No assembly on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. uh, a snack break of 15 minutes and a lunch break of 45 minutes has been built in. See the illustrative timetable on weekdays. Lunch is 30 minutes on Saturdays. R1 yes. language has curricular goals for the library built into it. Okay. Um, into it in the design of learning standards. 
Therefore, the time is shared between these two subjects on the timetable. So lunch should be for 45 minutes on daily basis. Only on Saturdays, it should be 30 minutes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, they should have five days uh, a week. And it should start uh, with an assembly of 25 minutes. 20, uh, okay. That is five minutes to reach the class. And yes. transition period should be five minutes. One period to another period, it should be in between. It should be there should be five minutes time. Five minutes. Yes. Yeah. There should be a snack break, a break before uh, or 15 minutes. Um. Then R1 language has curricular goals for the library built into it in the design of learning standards. This I did not understand, sir. R1 Therefore, language has curricular goals for the library built into it in the design of learning standards. Therefore, um, the time is shared between these two subjects on the timetable. So, uh, you know, basically we have a separate library period. So here what they have done is they have put competencies that are to be achieved in library period also into language. That is R1, first language, oh, that which is English. Language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what they can do is they can bifurcate here how many, uh, you know, like uh, classes they want to give it for library. As both are taken together, competencies are achieved within R and R1 language only. So library, mm -hmm. you know, it is their choice, whether if, if it's something is remaining, then they can go for library period also, separate library period. Or else that library period can be utilized for that subject. R1 subject, yes. Okay. okay. So, uh, G, languages R1 and R2 together have been given adequate time for students to become independent readers and writers in these as the basis of learning other curricular areas. Um, R2 has been given more time than R1 as gaining proficiency in the language by the end of this stage will require additional time. Also, all other curricular areas are taught in the language of R1 and so add to the learning of R1. Okay, so R2 is said that it will take more time from R1 because R1, R1 is used in the language. So mm. it, it adds to the learning, but for R2, it has to be taken, I mean, given more time. More care, for, yes. Yes. Yeah. The world around us has also been adequate time has also been given adequate time as a preparatory stage is a developmentally critical time to learn essential multidisciplinary skills of inquiring about and learning from the world around the students. The world around us is what, sir? The world around us it has been also organization. Achha, it's an organization. Has also been given adequate time as the preparatory stages are developed. No, the world around us is not an organization. I'm sorry, it's a subject like general awareness. The world around okay. us is a subject. Yes. So, so it is developmentally uh, critical time to learn essential multidisciplinary skills of inquiring about and learning from the world around the students. Okay, it's, it, it gives multidisciplinary skills. Uh, see, like uh, in, initially we used to call it as general awareness. No, the world around us is the, you know, name replaced instead of okay. general awareness. Yes. Art education and physical education have been given a fair share for, of their time considering the learning standards built into this curriculum framework. Yes. Um, so, so they have given they have... annual hours and annual periods for each subject over here in preparatory stage. R1 mm. plus library, it should be mm. 180 hours or 270 mm. periods. R2, 285 periods. Math, mm. 277.5 periods. General awareness, three. Uh, the world around us, 300 periods. Art education, 150. Physical education, 150. Number of classes in each subject on illustrative timetable matches these numbers approximately approximately means, while preparing the timetable we should make sure that these numbers are you know like matching mm -hmm. yeah then so time one okay. one second ma'am time allocation for middle stage we will do this tomorrow okay, okay. i suppose it's better that we stop here today because everything is numbers we might you know like uh, you know like mm -hmm. so yeah, so that's all for today. We will meet tomorrow again at 3 o'clock. Sir, please change the timetable. I mean, time for this. Time. Because we, yeah. my class, you know, class ends by 3.20. So it okay. is in between. So 3 to 4 means, again, I will be busy. If you can change from 4 o'clock will be okay with me. If others agree.
like actually or everyone are asking for late evening timings ma'am like so let us see what we can do about it i'll just moderate a discussion in the group yeah so that late in the know. evening at 8 o'clock not 8 o'clock maybe 9 o'clock or something 9 o'clock will be okay with me fine with me but chitra ma'am will not be able to because she sleeps by 9 o'clock that's what that's what so let that's us see what we can do about it so that's tomorrow it will be okay. again yes yes or else can we have every alternate day rather than daily yeah that is possible but then again 3 o'clock is a problem with me the 3 no 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 timings we will change timings yeah. we will change let us see what we can do okay sir but tomorrow it will be 3 o'clock right yeah uh so yeah tomorrow it will be so you do one thing suchitra ma'am today you just moderate a discussion in group you write to everyone in our group webinar group as okay. uh, you know like it is becoming difficult to join at 3 o'clock uh, we all mm -hmm. we all thought of changing the timings what will be the feasible timings for everyone okay sir so we'll take the best if needed we will do certain adjustments to the time as well okay sir okay thank you sir thank you so thank much thank you ma'am thank you